everyone, this is Hello Angel Design. Today I'm going to unbox my new overlocker sewing machine, which my husband just bought me recently. I have overlocker sewing machine before. It's an industrial sewing machine. It's very, very perfect and it works very, very well and is in a very perfect condition. I had to sell that overlocker sewing machine because I live in a country whereby it's not my origin country, it's not my husband's origin country. So we are working here. I decide to sell that because maybe tomorrow or whenever we decide to leave the country. So you can't really ship the uh, industrial sewing machine, which is very, very heavy and a lot of weight. So my husband decided to buy me this new overlocker sewing machine, which I haven't opened yet. I don't know what is inside. I don't know how it looks. So we are going to unbox it together and we are going to see what is inside this overlocker sewing machine. So come with me guys and let's open it together. So this is the box of the overlocker sewing machine and the name of the sewing machine is Vanilla Overlocker Sewing Machine. You can see the name right here and this is the top of the sewing machine. I will just open it so that you guys can see. So this is what is inside. I will just bring them out one by one and then show you guys how it look. I don't know what this is. It's like a, it's like a bag. It's like a bag right here. And it comes with thread. So I will just open it. These are the thread that comes with the machine. And this would be the paper for the instruction and everything, how to use it. So this is it. I have to read this and then know how to use it. To use a local sewing machine is not that difficult. I already know how to use a local sewing machine. But if you're a beginner, you just have to go through the, um, you know, the menu and then read what is inside, then you can start using your overlocker sewing machine. So this is uh, like, uh, I don't know what it is. This also comes with my Juki sewing machine. It has a hand like this. My Juki sewing machine also has something like this. And this is the cord. And the foot. You know, this is the foot when you press it. So this is it. I don't know what this is. I don't know yet. Like I said before, it's a new sewing machine. I have to figure it out. So I will put this out. Let's see. It come with this. So it has oil and all the necessary things inside, which is really good. And this is, I believe this will be the extension for the overlocker. You know, you just slice it in. This will be the extension for the overlocker. So I'm going to pull out the sewing machine, as you guys can see right here. I will just pull it out. Put this aside. So this is it. I will put it on my table and show you guys how it really look. This is how the sewing machine look. You can see how it is in the foot. This is the, the wire. And I have showed you guys this before. And this is for when you're overlocking your dresses, the pieces will be falling inside this you know, place. I have already figured that out very quickly. And I have also shown you the thread. The thread is four pieces inside here. I've also shown you the extension of the overlocker. 
So basic, that's what comes with it. In this, I have also shown you guys in the menu. That is all that comes with the overlocker sewing machine. And they have already tray the sewing machine. All I have to do is just put the thread and tie a knot and pass it through, which is very, very easy to do. This is the basic thing that comes with my new overlocker sewing machine, which I have shared with you all. And I will come back here and share with you the advantage and the disadvantage of the overlocker sewing machine. I will also come back here and share with you the disadvantage of my juking sewing machine, which I have already made a tutorial about it before. What I don't really like about the Juki sewing machine. So what I'm going to do, I will make a video of my overlocker sewing machine, what I like and I don't like, and also Juki sewing machine. I will put the both video together instead of making a separate video so that you guys can see what I like and what I don't like. And remember to subscribe. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube Follow us on Instagram at HelloNJ.Design. Follow us on Facebook at HelloNJ.Design. And turn on your notification bell button and select all options. If you're just stopping by, remember to subscribe before you exit this video. And turn on your notification bell button and select all options. If my tutorial is helpful, thumbs up. Make a comment down below if you have any question. Before you shop any sewing machine, go and do your own research. Make sure that you do a proper research and see what you like about that sewing machine and what you don't like and make sure to buy or shop a sewing machine that works with you and that is easy for you to work with. Especially if you are a beginner, make sure to do that. It is very, very important. Don't go and buy a sewing machine at the end of the day. You don't like it and you don't feel so much good about it. So make sure you should do that. Thank you all so much for watching. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. And you all should have a wonderful day. Bye.